Alright, welcome back to the shed. Uh, taking a break from this thing and we're going on a little bit of a side quest. That's a 16 valve Volvo. Um, it's not a B234F because you can see it has none of the balance shafts and everything. This is actually a pentamotor. Oh, I love the focusing on this thing. It's so good. It just works flawlessly just when you need it to. Yeah, that's what I want. Any time now. Wow. There it is. This is an AQ171C. That is a 2.5 liter stroker with a 16 valve cylinder head. I picked up a couple of these a few years ago and I've just been sitting on them for a while thinking of uh, something to do with them. I have a 1990 244 uh, shell that doesn't have an engine in it at the moment. Um, it's a pretty clean shell, nothing exciting. It was just a B230F automatic car. Um, but I'm going to manual swap it when I'm doing all of this. I have a M47 transmission. I have the LH 2.4 flywheel. So we're going to manual swap it at the same time, put the pedal boxes in it. I'm going to use some stock um, engine management, LH 2.4, but these are the 16 valve computers. So we're going to use those, probably with wasted spark, with some combination of these coils and the little wasted spark board you can get. So the goal is to bolt this engine and transmission together, have it complete, ready to go, and then just stick it in the car. Aftermarket exhaust, I think that's a KL Racing header. Have the intake, B234F intake, the skinny brake booster. I'm gonna try and make all that jive because it gets crowded in that corner of the car. Keep it NA. This is an NA build, and then just uh, drive it. A fun little winter beater project. Dual caliper brackets, so I'll probably put dual calipers on the back with a hydro handbrake. Just more fun for goofing around. First things first, I've ordered a gasket set and some new head bolts um, because this motor has a problem with it. It turns over fine, has the same problem that most boat motor have. Um, if you're played with Penta motors, you probably know what I'm talking about. Number four exhaust port, you can see it's actually got corroded so point so bad to the point where the top of the cylinder head is rotted away. So that's a problem. I've welded them up and machined them in the past, but I have. Uh, this is a car head, and this one, of course, doesn't have the same issues with the uh, exhaust ports. So I also want to check out the bottom end. Um, I bought these motors as a pair and one of them was locked up solid. This one still turns over fine. It seems to have decent compression. I want to check the cylinder walls, check the bearings, everything else like that when I swap them. Also going to swap cams. So this has the car cams and this has the marine cams. So we're going to take that motor onto that block and those cams into that head simple but yeah pretty basic just cylinder head re and re on this thing and give it a once over and put some new gaskets in it i've never done a 16 valve so i want to try one um i guess the big hang-ups with doing these swaps are the tensioner setup is the penta tensioner so that's already figured out for me and then notching the pistons when you put this head on a red block the valve um the valves need a, a relief pocket cut on the top of the pistons but this being a factory 16 valve, should already have those done. Just uh, tear it apart and see what we're working with. All right, there we go. So, like we knew already, this one has the uh, valve release cut in the pistons. For those so actually doesn't look too bad a little bit of um play in the top might be a little bit slappy but um there's good cross hatching here there's not too much of a, a lip there turn it over and check out the bottom end it looks good it has the forged crank because this is a 2.5 not a 2.3 all good stuff probably pop a main bearing and a rod bearing cap off and have a look at the bearings if they look okay 
I'll probably just leave them. If they look bad, then we'll have to dig deeper into it, obviously. This is pretty much at the point where it's gonna be to start going back together once my uh, seals and gaskets show up. That's the car head. That's the marine head. I wasn't sure on this, but <clears throat> doing some research, it is true uh, that the car and the marine heads have different combustion chamber shapes. The marine one, you can see it's kind of got this pent roof. Um, and, you know, this kind of goes almost straight down on both sides. And then the uh, car head here has kind of more of a, um, like a slope to it on either side and like not so much of an abrupt transition there. So I'm not sure which one is better. Like looking at it here, you've got a little bit more material against the valves here. And on this one, obviously you've got a little bit less material. So this, that might flow better, less shrouding. I don't know. Yeah, seals, gaskets, head bolts show up. Then we can plop that head on there, bolt it all together, paint it, make it look pretty. And then transmission on, and then uh, probably in the car next episode. All right. Until then, thanks for watching.